Okay, I'd like to go ahead and get started. I wanted to thank everybody for being here and for your interest in alternative energy for Cuba. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, which include the Cuban Heritage Collection, the Center for Latin American Studies, and the Gozueta Foundation for their financial and logistical support. I especially thank Maria Estorino, Ariel Armani, Israel Chavez for facilitating the Cuban Heritage Scholars funding that's making this event possible. I also would like to thank the Association of Cuban Engineers and the Cuban American Association of Civil Engineers for marketing this event and for all the workshops sponsored through these organizations focusing on Cuba infrastructure issues. These workshops conceived originally by Gonzalo Sanchez have laid the foundation for this particular symposium. I also like to thank the participation of our esteemed panel, um, Buck Martinez uh, from Florida Power and Light, and also Manuel Cerejo, expert in Cuba energy needs. Thank you. And the agenda is on the bottom half of this. And both uh, Buck and Manuel will be providing uh, presentations one focusing on energy alternatives that have been evaluated through Florida Power and Light, and the second focusing specifically on what is happening in the power sector of Cuba. These presentations will be followed by a team presentation by our Cuban heritage scholars, um, seated, see, seated right here, Melissa Barona, Maggie Geraldo, and Seth Marini. And their presentation will focus on new innovative technology for the production of biohydrogen. Before we begin, however, I wanted to take this opportunity. We have a very important opportunity here because we have three key people. Um, we have Pete Martinez here. We also have Buck Martinez. They're both brothers. I think most of us know. And we also have Janelle Chaviano. So, and all three are connected through the Pedro O. Martinez Scholarship that is traditionally awarded at the gala dinner of the Association of the Cuban Engineers and the Cuban American Association of Civil Engineers. Janelle Chaviano was not able to receive her scholarship at the gala due to a conflict with the Regional Conference of the American Society of Civil Engineers. And we're lucky to have Pete, Buck, and Janelle at this event. Janelle, who most of us know, um, is an outstanding student at the University of Miami studying civil engineering. Um, and she is receiving the Pedro O. Martinez Scholarship a scholarship in honor of Pete Martinez and Buck Martinez's father. Pedro O. Martinez was a dedicated engineer who started his own consulting engineering company and worked for Broward County School Board and most recently start, uh, taught at the University of Miami. And some of you may have had him as a professor. He was one of the founding fathers of the Association of Cuban Engineers. He also served as the former president of the Florida Engineering Society advocating for the certification of engineering degrees for Cuban exiles, and also promoting engineering licensing exams in Spanish to allow those from Spanish-speaking countries to obtain licensure. Pedro O. Martinez passed five months ago. He was a beloved husband, father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. Janelle, congratulations on this award in honor of an outstanding engineer. Um, Pete and Buck, can you come up? If we can um, maybe stand away from the, the, glare. the glare of the presentation. Yes. Or maybe a little bit more because the, the PowerPoint is still in your. There we go. Thank you. So on with the presentation agenda. Um, our first speaker, as mentioned, is Buck Martinez. Uh, he oversees the newly created Office of Clean Energy at Florida Power and Light, a subsidiary of Nextera Energy, where his responsibilities include identifying and originating clean energy opportunities in the state to promote visibility, commitment, and economic development. Most recently, Mr. Martinez led the company's efforts in the development of three solar projects and three large combined cy cycle natural gas facilities. Nextera Energy is one of the nation's leading electricity-related services companies. Its subsidiaries include Florida Power and Light Company, 
Florida's largest electric utility with nearly 4.5 million customer accounts, and Nextera Energy Resources, a fast-growing independent power producer with a presence in 26 states. Mr. Martinez holds a BA and a Master's of Business Administration degrees. He is a graduate of Boston University Leadership Program. He serves on the advisory boards for Florida Engineering Systems Consortium, Florida Research Consortium, and Florida Solar Energy Center. At this point, I'd like to hand it over to Mr. Martinez. 